so to install Vertica Management Console we need to go to vertica.com and uh, log into our accounts I'll, if you don't have an account create one it's free so here we are log into your account as you can see here next we go to the download page here we are at the communicate community edition softwares next choose the version of the management console now this is going to be a red hat edition edition uh, read and confirm the terms next one the software will be downloaded on our machine this might take some time depending on the speed of your internet but this should not take more than five minutes All right. now uh, on the Linux machine we already have the RPM so using the RPM installing tool we're gonna install the package this might take some time so I'm gonna cut the video it might take uh, depending on your machine and uh, your machine performance next we copy the URL that it provided we're gonna open a browser and uh, paste it in There you go. Add the exception to your browser since it's a secure connection. Confirm it. Okay. This might take some time, so like I said, depends a lot of your on your operational system performance accept the license agreement and choose next here we're gonna choose a username to be the admin of the management council choose a password in our case is gonna be the same as the username the unix group id should be the vertica dba group id in our case gonna be 500 you can change the management console port but i'm gonna leave it the same 5450 next uh, choose where it's going to be stored and going to give the default and the uh, authentication is going to be the default one there we go let's log in everything is up and running now using the user that we created earlier on MEC admin the same password we logged in alright so basically that's it Vertica Management Console it's already still up and running we're gonna see in the next tutorial how we can uh, set up and work around the console thanks